You want to go for a ride? Turn around, sit. That's a good boy. Have a cookie. <laughs> I'm Canadian and I'm okay. I drink all night and I work all day. I cut down trees, kill baby seals, and live in a big igloo. Americans who live on the border all of this is true I'm Canadian and I'm okay I sweat all night and I freeze all day I like my sports I like my beer I've never gone to war Though we have an army No one knows what it's for I'm Canadian and I'm not gay I'm just so polite that it seems that way
Hi everybody, Snafu Al here. I, I couldn't turn this down. I already had the, uh, you know, the tarp thing you've seen on other videos. How I've got that all arranged. And um, my mosquito netting and what have you for in, when I'm inside the van. Or that piece hanging on the back if I wanted to sit at the tailgate. But when I find a spot and I'm going to stay for a little bit, I don't like the sun beating down on me. I mean, I love the sun. That's the whole point of me traveling, is to stay where the sun is. But um, I don't like the, you know, I don't like getting burned. <laughs> That's really all it is. I can sit out in the sun and enjoy it for maybe 15 minutes or so, and then I got to get into the shade. Um, so, but I like the warmth. But I, li I like the warmth and the little breeze and shade. Everybody does that. So anyway, I got this off of uh, from Home Depot actually. Online, online from Home Depot. Um, delivered. I'm not sure if it was on sale or not, but I think it was seventy-seven dollars and eighty-seven cents or something like that. Plus tax and uh, delivery, it all came to eighty-seven dollars. Six by six by six. So I'm six foot tall now. I used to be six two actually. <laughs> uh, what happens when you get old? You shrink. So um, yeah. So I'm I don't know. I'm barely six foot now. Because I can stand under this, and my head just just touches, just touches. So, and I'm just six foot now. I'm six two, shrunk two two inches, maybe two and a half. Who know? So, so uh, <laughs> another video. I'll put the video camera up again when I take it down. I think you can see it online anyway on YouTube. There, there's. It's called the Viva Active pop-up sun shelter, sunshade, or sunroom, or something. As I say, it's just made for me. Me and well, one other person could sit here and have a coffee with me or a cigarette. And it keeps the predators out mosquitoes it doesn't look like it's narrow and it doesn't look like it would keep the no seams out but I've got the uh, I've got the one I've got that big one that takes that keeps no seams out I could just drape it over as well like I can drape this tarp I have another bigger tarp I could probably almost drape it over and it'll come down to about here or so so that I've got more protection from uh, any rain, I guess you might say. Yeah, if there's any rain, I've got the roof here, but if the wind's blowing the rain from that way or something, then I'm going to get wet in here. So I've got another tarp like this blue one up there, um, bigger, and uh, it's big enough. Probably it'll just drape over the whole thing, you know, and cover it down to about here, so it'd keep a lot of the rain out. I didn't want to go the extra money for the side panels I'm not big on setting up stuff <laughs> the, the less I have to set up the better um, also for um, you know getting away quickly this is going to be probably as long as it'll take me to take this down and pack it to go um, it'll be the longest you know that I that I would spend I don't like to be doing a lot of uh, tearing down and I want to go I just want to you know be able to go uh, I'll very rarely put this up probably unless I know I'm staying somewhere for a couple weeks or a week or something um, then I'll put it up um, so I can sit out and enjoy have my coffee and what have you read books and I can even do my uh, computer stuff out here and everything so it's September now and we're um, kind of getting geared up for going south. I don't know. 
if I'm going to be doing too much traveling between now and then. But if I do, I'll be I'll be taking video. Got to go to Virginia. My sister will be there October 25th for two weeks, and she's inviting a lot of family and friends down for the two weeks. She's rented the big five-bedroom place, so uh, celebrating her 75th birthday. And uh, so I've got to go there, and then from there I'm cutting to southwest. Um, final destination um, southbound would be San Diego. Um, and then from there north, and I want to come back in the spring, I want to cross into um, British Columbia and visit friends in uh, Victoria on the island, Vancouver Island, Victoria, BC. And the weather is so much nicer there in, in May. Um, Ontario sucks in May. So what I'm going to do is uh, spend a month there at least, come back here mid-June. Mid um, uh, I don't know. Um, en route, I'm going to be checking out uh, obviously Corside. I want to see if I can get to the RTR, Bob Wells' uh, Home Drawn Wheels uh, Alliance, um, Cheap RV Living, Bob, Bob Wells. He's on the YouTube. He's, he's got a non profit now called Home Drawn Wheels Alliance, and uh, they're, um, they get, they've got uh, donations and they have an emergency fund and they have a giveaway fund that they. Um, they, you know, they they do little builds, minis. They buy a mini, do a build in it, a used one, of course. Um, do a build in it, and then and then they give it away to somebody that needs it, um, which is a, a good thing. You can uh, you can donate to that easy enough. How uh, Homes on Wheels Alliance? Uh, it's one of the. It's not GoFundMe, but it's one of the, the fund me things, but. HomesOnWheelsAlliance.org if you want to find out any more about that. And then, so I want to, depending on my timing, um, I, I'll join one of their caravans for a couple of weeks, do the RTR, maybe hang around with caravans for a little while, and, um, and then at uh, some point head across uh, New Mexico, I guess, uh, Arizona, New Mexico, California. Anyway, to uh, San Diego, and I don't know whether I'll cross over to Mexico for a day or two or not, maybe, but then I want to do the Pacific uh, Pacific Highway, Pacific Coast Highway, I think they call it, um, all the way up to uh, Canada, because i got to come back to Canada. And I got to do it before, you know, uh, six six months is up. So that would bring me back here in Ontario in in May first or so. And uh, May May is horrible here. Yeah, cold and I think last year they had a touch of snow. It's just too cold for me. I'm going to stay in uh, Victoria. Is probably the warmest city in Canada. It's got the warm air off the Pacific and some fun little thing they call Japan. It's from Japan, I don't know, some air current or something. Or maybe it's water current, stream or whatever. From Japan all the way up to, to Canada. So that's why Victoria, I never saw snow there in two and a half years while I was there. So that's the place to be until... June, I think, <laughs> and then I'll head back across. I'll get to see the Rockies again, and you know, I'll, I'm probably going to see them heading north. I'm running the camera right now on this Gulu. I showed it in a previous video. It's uh, all this whole video is taking about 84, it's uh, 15 percent the power. I don't know how well it does. I know it boosts the car. The battery is great. It's great for boosting batteries. How long it will run anything inside the RV, I don't know. <coughs> that what brings me to the point that uh, I just ordered. I think it's called. I think it's called Pro Energy. Um, it's uh, comparable to the the, the Jackery 240. Um, 
same same uh, capacity, same features and everything. Pretty much uh, uh, um, it's the same as the Jackery, but it was a hundred dollars less. Less um, it was a hundred and ninety-five dollars as opposed to Jackery's three hundred um, for the two forty. It's five hundred for their uh, the four forty or five hundred. They call it a five hundred, but it's four forty. Um, I just didn't want to go that much money, and I shopped around on Amazon anyway. I found this called, I'm sure it's called Pro Energy. Pro Energy, maybe. Something like that. I'll, um, in the future, when it arrives, I'll, uh, I'll do a little video on it. Because I only saw one on, um, one or two on YouTube, and they just, all they did was show it and point out what it had, and that was it. They didn't actually, you know, run anything or test it in any way, so I might do that. I'm going to see if it'll run everything that I need. And the most, the biggest draw I have in my RV, or my van, is the, uh, my laptop. I got a little USB fan, my laptop, my cell phones. I use propane heat in, uh, for, for, for everything else, so... It charges while you're driving, or you can uh, get a solar panel, which I'll, that'll be my, my next thing, but I'll do that when I'm down in Arizona, uh, Tan Can or Tan, Tan San or somebody uh, sells um, solar uh, panel, really cheap, I'm thinking one good, maybe one of those 200 watt panels will will keep the uh, the battery pack charged all the time but I'm not driving so between driving and the and the solar I might be good to go I won't have to take that uh, 3500 watt generator that I have on the back of my RV my motorhome class C which I'm not taking this year down south because I just can't afford the gas. That's why I'm going the minivan. Um, I use it at my home base and that's where I live. And I'm on shore power there so I don't need the generator. So I got a trailer hitch put on. Um, a used trailer hitch for my Grand Caravan cost me um, $150. They're regular $250. Um, brand new, they're, they're $250. And it's got a two inch, uh, you know, insert, and the ball came with it. Everything came with it. It was installed by the guy that I bought it off of. He took it off his old one, so he put it on mine. He knew how to do it. So um, did that for a Dozen beer. <laughs> yeah. And on that, I can put the uh, carrier on the back. I can take that big generator if I want to. But I haven't decided on that yet. The reason I had the hitch is in case I'm always on the wall on the fence about uh, a trailer of some sort, like a cargo trailer or one of them little wee travel trailers. Very small because the minivan, you know, can't handle that much. Um, I'm always on the fence about that because I don't like the restrictions that I'll have um, with the trailer. I like to be able to just drive in somewhere, put it in park, hop in the back. That's all I got to do. I don't want to be looking for a spot where the trailer can, you know, and then and then uh, leveling it, and, you know, all that other stuff. Um, Plus, it's twice as long as, as the caravan as well, so then there's problems with parking and stuff. I know I see people go through that all the time with their fifth wheels and their travel trailers. Um, most of the time, they're going somewhere for a long period of time, so they just have to worry about it when they're pulling off to rest or something. But um, I don't know if I want to deal with it. Life's short enough, eh? Okay, so, hope you 
forget to check at Teespring. The links are down below Teespring for my designs, my shirt designs. If you feel like t-shirts, they're really cheap, only $11.99 US. Um, yeah. There's a couple of dogs there. Yeah. yeah, they're only, uh, they started at $11.99 US. I think it, you know, there's a couple of undershirts and hoodies, they're different prices, but um, I don't think there's anything on there more than $15, $19, I think it's for the, the nice, the hoodies. 1999 or something. That's US. Anyway, check it out. And uh, I think my new model is going to be Escape the Bullshit. <laughs> the only thing that I've ever done, I got these uh, all the way around. Well, you can see. But anyway, I got these. There's um, four towels, four black towels, just close pegged onto a bungee cord. And the only thing that I I had to do was screw in here his little eyes into the plastic here. That's it. If you can just barely see it there. Eh? Uh, yeah, there. Anyway, it's, it's an eye, and then these bungee cords have clips. So I had to put an eye there, and an eye over there, an eye in that far corner over there, and one at the other end there. That way I've got bungee cord running all the way around now. It's the only thing that I've had to do that I actually attach to the band itself, um, because I didn't want to do that. But it's uh, screwed right into the plastic, and... You know what, it'll be a f permanent feature if I ever sell it. I can just tell people, oh, you also got something to clip your bungee cords to. <laughs> Everything else will just come right out. Um, so. Six black towels at, at a dis bargain store I got. Eh, five bucks each, I think. So 20 bucks for curtains. <laughs> and you see it goes right across. That's, uh, you know, as well as the Reflectix and keeps the van pretty hard to look into and also, uh, you know, cool and warm or whatever. Um, I showed you the little screens for here and I've, anyway, I got mosquito screens for, for every opening.
the back of her belt. 